Adam Hike, Director of Performance at OB Sports. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the opposite extremity extension. This is an awesome movement to help identify some coordination, your cross crawl patterning, which is pretty essential for identifying kind of that muscular chain. Uh, also good for pelvis awareness and uh, activation of kind of the glute region. So let's get into this exercise. I'm also going to sequence you and start to help you identify creative ways to take simple exercises such as the opposite extremity extension and transform them into extremely functional movements that would help anybody's game and just performance in daily life. So here we go. I'm going to incorporate the BOSU, which is the half ball and the regular physio ball for those advancements, but let's do the opposite extremity first. So in this movement, I'm going to get on my hands and knees, shoulders directly over my palms, and knees directly under my hips. I'm just going to extend my opposites, ex extremities. So full extension, I'm trying to look for, from my fingers all the way through my heel, there's a straight line. Now, great warm up move, but let's add a little more functional component to it to get a little bit more out of it. So let's work on some stability. I'm going to bring my toes off the ground now. So now I'm only on my knee and palm. Adds a lot of difficulty to the movement. You want to step it up even more? Add a stability tool like a BOSU. Same thing. Okay. So I'm going to start with my toes on the ground. Boom. Going back and forth. Once you identify it, guess what? Bring those toes up. Jeez, now I'm wobbling all over the place trying to identify it. Okay. So pretty, pretty cool way to quickly take what I would consider an excellent warm-up move and transition it into a functional exercise that's going to help you develop good movement patterns and efficiencies through those different chains of muscles. I'm going to take it one step further here, and I'm going to do the ex extremity extension on a ball. Now, don't try this at home, but this is just how creative you can get with these basic movements. So I'm going to go hands and knees on top. Obviously, just getting your hands and knees on top of a ball is pretty good functional movement for stability and coordination. And now I'm going to try my extension. Let's see if we've got it today. So I'm on my one leg and one arm. OK, so nice and smooth. You just rotate back and forth. I'm having to identify where the ball's at in space and how to slowly under milliseconds, adjust my body's positioning and coordination to help stabilize. Pretty cool, pretty fun. All right, have fun with those and think outside the box next time you're at the gym performing movements. The golf swing is a very functional movement, requires a lot from your body, especially from a coordination and efficiency standpoint. That's probably how you should start working out as well. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you soon.